Systems. Everybody's talking about systems. Okay, that's great. You know, they're telling you that you need to have a system for that. You need to have a system for this. Uh, but nobody's telling you how to do and how to do it. Which is, you know, common. You know, they don't want to tell you how to do it uh, because they want you to pay them to to have you tell them how to do it. Understandable, but. You know, the, the, simple ma uh, the simple fact of the matter is that a system, all it is, is a step-by-step -step procedure that you perform to accomplish a task. You know, such as a, a hiring system. Now, when you develop a hiring system, it's a step-by-step -step process. And that's exactly what you're going to do. I would say the first thing to do is just take a, re a recorder and record the process. You may know it, or maybe you have a, a, an HR person in the office that, do, that does all the hiring and, and things like that. But whoever it is, have that person record that uh, under a recorder, step by step, how that process is done. From there, you can go ahead and uh, translate that process onto a Word document. So now, you, again, you got, you got a recording, you got, you got a Word document for the step by step process uh, of, of hi your hiring system. And now also what you want to do is that you want to create a video. Create a video to where you're walking a person through the step-by-step -step process of how you hire somebody. From you know, developing the ad, selecting the ad, placing the ad, and then you know, um, people's uh, you know, the call to action, uh, you know, how you're interviewing people, if you're doing a phone interview, uh, in-person interview, you know, at what step, uh, at what step this all happens. Uh, all the way to the point to where you offer a position to the person. So that's what a system is. Just create your step-by-step -step process, document it in multiple formats, and then put it in a place to where uh, it will be safe. Uh, what I offer, what I do for my coaching clients when we go through my business development uh, program, uh, that's what we do is we develop systems for their business. And um, that's what we do is we actually have a format uh, that we use. We have a template that we use uh, to create these things. And we actually have a system as to how and where we're putting this stuff uh, because it's very, very important that the systems that we're developing are all based on the five, five core pillars of business. Now, that's a no-brainer. Anybody in business should know that. So that being the fact, we got to have a place that, on our computer that we can put this stuff, uh, again, where it's safe and secure because there are areas of your business that you don't want everybody to have access to, such as your finance. Uh, that information should only be for select people. Uh, so you want to be able to make sure that you have, uh, using a system that where you're putting these documents and, and recordings and so on and so forth, is secure. Uh, so maybe it takes a password to get into that, into that folder. But anyway, that's really all the systems are about. Not that hard. You know, um, you know I've helped many, many people, uh, you know, create these. Um, and the thing that you have to remember is that uh, you know, your systems, you're going to have hundreds and hundreds of systems uh, within your business. So, you know, for example, like I was saying about the hiring system, well, that's, that's an employee HR thing. So that's one of your folders that you will have is, is HR. And within that folder, you know, you're going to have your hiring system, you're going to have your onboarding, your, your offboarding, uh, you're going to have, you know, interviewing and, and you know, all these different uh, systems that you'll use uh, for the HR. Um, so it gets, it's good, it gets pretty intense. So you're going to end up with a, with a lot of systems that you're going to have to create. And no, it doesn't happen overnight. But the thing is, is if you stay focused, uh, eventually you'll, you'll complete them all. It's going to take time. So now uh, those of you that are just solo entrepreneurs, it's a lot of work. You're still going to have to run your business, the day-to-day -day operation, and you're going to have to create these systems. And I tell you what, you know, the one thing that's going to help you the most is make sure you have the, the systems that you need in place from the get-go. You know, so don't get in a big old hurry. Okay, I've, I've uh, registered my business and, and now, okay, I'm going to hire people. I got to get out. I got to get out of the field. You know, I don't want to be working. I don't want to be cleaning. Well, bad idea. You better start developing these systems first on how you're going to hire, train, and so on and so forth. Because if you don't, you're going to hit a brick wall. I've seen it happen many, many times. So take the time and make sure that you develop the right systems when you need them. I always tell my coaching clients that 
you should be developing the system that costs you the most not to have. Pretty simple, isn't it? So if you're having hiring problems, you can't keep people, you got a large turnover, well, what's going on? Create that system that's going to fix this. So uh, that's the whole thing about it. And like I say, it's about, uh, it's about using uh, folders and, and uh, creating these, 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 uh, 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 these different formats that you're going to keep the, the system in. Uh, you're going to have templates and different things like that. But I tell you what, you know, when you do this, when you create your first set of systems f for your, your f full company, well, now you got them developed. And as a company that, let's say you're only doing $250,000 a year, you know, that's still, that's a good, that's a lot, that's a lot of money, you know, so I don't mean just only, uh, but, you know, if you're doing $250,000 a year, you're creating systems for that business. But now you have to remember that the systems that you develop for that business will be different when you're hitting $500,000, $750,000, $1,000,000, $1.5 million, $5 million, $10 million. They keep on, they evolve. But the sweet thing here now is that you've, you've got your core system built. And now it's just a matter of making sure that you continue to nurture it and, and, and help it develop into what it needs to be for the next, uh, the next plateau that you hit. So uh, it's much easier to do that than to, to start at the beginning. Uh, starting at the beginning is a lot of work. And, you know, and I'll be honest with you, a lot of people don't complete it because it's just too much work for them. Um, for whatever reason, uh, I, I, that's why. I think that's why it's just too much work for them. Um, but, you know, that's, they don't want, you don't want to do that. You know, you've got to keep on working at this and, and you've got to continue to build your systems. It's very, very important. Uh, successful companies have systems in place and you have to have them. Uh, that's business 101. Uh, you have to. And remember, like I said, it's off the five core pillars of business. Uh, you know, and if you'd like to know what those are, contact me. Be more than happy to talk to you about it. But uh, anyway, uh, not a big deal creating systems, you know. And uh, you know, I just gave you a good, uh, uh, a good process into uh, which uh, and, uh, and how to do that. And uh, uh, you shouldn't have any problems. Just follow my instructions and create a step-by-step -step process. Put it in those different formats, and you'll be fine. Now, for you people that have larger companies where you have uh, you know, multiple employees and you've got an office staff and so on and so forth, uh, remember, you don't have to do this all by your own. Uh, give that task to somebody that performs that task daily. So if you have an, uh, an office person that's, that's doing uh, you know, uh, accounts or uh, invoicing or something like that, have them create that system. Same thing if you have a supervisor that's out, out there supervising crews. Have them write a system for for supervising or for disciplining or whatever that may be. So go to those people, have them help you out. Uh, and, uh, you know, with a simple template and with a simple explanation of what you're trying to do, any of these people can do it. So that's all I have. So uh, until next time, thanks.